I'm sorry. That's it's great. <laughs> Beg your pardon. <laughs> to my right, chapter leader for the open space chapter, Anita. Right, open space chapter um, is concerned primarily with provision of uh, open spaces for recreation uh, and amenity, as well as conservation of um, natural uh, areas of open space, uh, including high biodiversity areas, landscape, uh, outstanding landscapes, uh, as well as water and margins of various water bodies. Uh, so that's what the open space chapter covers. We have, um, we're proposing to uh, reduce the number of zones from the current 23 across two district plans to five, uh, which uh, focus on the uh, type of open space and its function. So uh, open space community park zone deals with your neighborhood parks varying in range from uh, urban city pocket parks to larger parks uh, providing um, room for um, informal playgrounds or, or for sports fields uh, through to um, metropolitan facilities which uh, focus on large-scale built facilities such as Pioneer Stadium, Pool Complex uh, as an example. Um, then we have um, McLean's Island zone, which is a pretty discreet, unique zone because of the, its location. It's located in a flood-prone area um, and its uses are limited by that very reason. It's also eco-owned land, uh, which accommodates large-scale uh, facilities, uh, clubs uh, such as uh, shooting clubs or uh, car, um, vintage car clubs, Orana Wildlife Park. So those um, activities that benefit from large um, areas and also the isolation, relative isolation, meaning not annoying any uh, residential neighbours, uh, do lo can locate in that uh, area. Uh, open space natural zone covers the natural areas of um, uh, various um, amenity or landscape or ecological or biodiversity values. Um, the concentration of them for Christchurch would be on the Port Hills, on the Banks Peninsula, uh, also uh, generally um, uh, high uh, areas um, uh, on, on the hills as well as some uh, areas adjacent to the coast. There are some flat open space natural areas within Christchurch such as, for example, Travis Wetland. Um, and lastly, uh, open space water and margin zones, zone which um, covers the um, rivers, upstream and downstream rivers, and lakes. Um, at the moment, uh, these cover rivers in Christchurch area. Banks Peninsula uh, requires a little bit more work to identify those. That's nearly done, and we may be able to map them through submission and, and introduce them into the plan through submission process. Currently, they still require a little bit more work. So that's the uh, open space zones. Um, now, since the uh, last time I spoke to you uh, and the version that you have seen, uh, some um, minor um, changes have been introduced to the plan. Uh, one of them uh, will be, um, uh, which is probably most visible, it would be targeting um, matters of discretion for various recreational activities more individually so they are easier to perhaps um, uh, to uh, see and to relate to a particular activity and, and as a consequence it will be easier to administer. Um, uh, another change is the metropolitan facilities mm -hmm. zones used to have a, a limit of um, floor area uh, which turns out to be quite unrealistic. Uh, um, that, on the other hand, did not correspond with the overall building built site coverage. So while the building um, site coverage uh, limit was quite generous and, and allowed for the development that is actually appearing on the ground, the individual building uh, limit was unrealistic and there were many resource concerns to, to um, breach that rule. Uh, I decided that... Um, the building site coverage is sufficient to control the scale of development and, and maintain amenity of the site overall uh, without specifying the size of the buildings. Often they will be well over a thousand square meters in size and more. Now, 
We will also, sorry, just to carry on with the resolutions, of course, um, we have identified um, uh, some mapping errors, and uh, I think a couple of them are showing up on the screen. Um, so they are to do with the um, uh, sites at 60 here in the Old Road. That's an interesting one. We have um, in further of a rezoning uh, zoned consulate of general Re of People's Republic of China uh, as open space. Uh, <laughs> it should be residential, so we would like to amend that. Uh, uh, this site at 232 Roadville Avenue um, is um, uh, currently uh, zoned uh, in, in phase one as general industrial. Uh, somehow it wasn't picked up that that site is a council owned reserve and we would like to zone it to open space uh, as well. Um, on the other hand, uh, phase two maps have um, extended the open space zoning to the site at 232 uh, Roadville Avenue, which is actually a privately owned uh, industrial site. So there is a little bit of a problem Can there. Can I just ask you which zone, which open space zone you want Roy Bell uh, Yes, uh, didn't I say that? It should be, uh, okay, the um, open, uh, the 232 Road Valley should go back to its phase one zoning of general industrial. Oh, it should be, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. So it should not have been rezoned to open space right. um, uh, community park. No, just say as general and, and yeah, that's right. Okay. Now, uh, also, since that was written up, we've discovered a couple more um, uh, amendments needed to the maps, and uh, I would like to raise those, um, ask you for resolution to amend those sites as well, if I can, please. Um, the under maps under the same amendment? Yes, that's change the map maps. amendments, yes, okay. just different map. It, it, it relates to map 33, two sites. Um, one of them is... Uh, the address, official address is 875 Avonside Drive. That's the area which is um, a, um, a, um, a narrow, long site surrounding Porrett Park. It's between the um, Oxbow of the Avon River that surrounds the park and the park itself. Uh, for some reason, it got rezoned um, to uh, flat rent land recovery, a red zone effectively. So we would like to take that off and, and put it back into the metropolitan facility zone. Um, the other one, it's a minor little wee amendment. Uh, there is a council owned land reserve, a council owned reserve at 176 Shortland Street and uh, Bexley. And okay. again, we missed the fact that it's in a residential zoning rather than open space. So that would be um, that amendment required. So, so what should that go to? That should go to Open Space Community Park. Thank you. Um, the, in, in the morning you have had um, um, a request for resolution to, amend, to make some amendments to the insert that comes from the um, natural and cultural heritage chapter going into the rural chapter and open space chapter. You have approved the amendments to the rural chapter. What we're asking is that identical amendments are made to the open space chapter. Okay, the wording here is perhaps not as precise as it should have been. Okay. So the uh, questions regarding the chapter 18, the open space. Are there any questions? Oh, Yanni, so how many questions do you have? Uh, yeah, quite a few. Um, so uh, I note that there's a number of private developments on there. Um, Linfield, uh, Rugby Park. Yes. So, um, so we've got a private development happening out in Yaldhurst, which I think is great and we want to support. So I just want to put that into the open space and recreation zone. Um, so That's just how can I do that? Could be difficult. Uh, uh, the difficulty with the Yaldhurst site is that we have considered that, but uh, the site is outside of the urban, uh, uh, urban um, limit which means the RPS pro basically does not allow us to apply urban zoning to that site as it is outside of the urban limit. So it would first require a change to the RPS and, and the urban limit that has been introduced through LERP. Mm. Mm. Yes. Recreation. It, it, 
Yes, it so, is considered to be urban activity rather than rural. So it will go for a consent under the rural zoning. In fact, if, they, if they're going to do that now, it will go under its existing operative plan zoning, which I, I suppose is still rural, it's is still it? It's still rural, yes, yeah. yes. That's so right. Have we not, in everything else that we've done, have we not changed any uh, land use that's in, outside of the urban limit? Through the whole stage, not so much the matter of land use; it's it's the matter of zoning. We we basically cannot um, zone the land that is outside of the urban limit into um, a zoning, which is typical of urban environment, and, and open space is one of them. Um, the um, activities that are perhaps not uh, um, associated with urban environment can happen through resource consents, and that's what is going to happen on that particular site. But in answer to your question, mm. Yanni, um, in fact, we have. One of them is that area around Cranford Basin right. that we're asking to move from rural, which it currently yeah. is, to urban, urban um, residential. But yeah. we are meeting with um, ECAN and Sarah about that, and, and initial discussions indicate that they would be amenable to that, but there has to be a process in place to do that before the hearing, obviously. Well, can we do that for this? Because I just think, like, you know, here's someone that wants to invest a lot of money. Um, it's a sporting metropolitan facility that, you know, seems to make sense. Um, you know, I just, I, I think we should progress it along those same lines. So... Again, like with the yeah. Cranford, it would require uh, that would require a resolution. Um, I guess the difference here is that there's no particular benefit to the landowner in this particular case. It's not going to make it harder necessarily for them to get a consent to do the activity. Whereas in the Cranford Basin area, it's a lot harder to get urban density residential in a rural area. Whereas big open spaces like this this facility we're talking about, the, I think it's a football academy and parkland, um, um, you know, fields associated with that is not so difficult to get under the rural activity zone. It's just whether or not you feel it's, um, you know, it, it actually requires all that effort to make that change. Um, yes, we can pursue it, but... but, but won't make any difference. Well, it's not it. that it won't make any difference. It's just a, a lot of work to change the LERP and the RPS, um, and there's not necessarily any particular benefit to the landowner to do that activity. That's just my sense. That's just my professional sense of it. It's quite. It's a different situation to Cranford Basin, but I mean, we. I can still raise it if you wish me to when we go and talk about Cranford Basin. But it's not going to stop them from doing what they want to do anyway. But it's just adding more hurdles, which I... You know, no, it's I not just, adding hurdles. It, it, it won't be adding any hurdles, I don't think. Well, they might require another resource consent for further um, they, development. Well, they might. It depends on how yeah. much development there actually going to be as part of it, you know, how many buildings and that kind of thing and what the scale is. So, but, so just to put it into context, like we've just approved a special purpose golf zone, which is probably beyond, right, beyond the urban limit. Is it or no? It's within the urban limit. It it's got huge intensification of housing and yes, it is. It's within the urban limit. It's going to make it easy for them to do it. So no, the special purpose zone is within the urban limit. It is? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I mean, I just think we should be trying to do something through that. So if the other process can make it easier, then let's set up the process for that to happen. Um, could I just suggest then that? as a part of the conversations with ECAN and um, Sarah about Cranford Basin, I can include a conversation about this too, and then if they are amenable to that happening, that again, we could do that through a submission, because that's likely what's going to have to happen for, uh, for Cranford Basin anyway. Right. Do you want a specific resolution to that effect, or um, what's the best way of doing it? Um, I don't think we had a specific resolution for Cranford Basin, did we? No, because that's just something that we're going to have to try and put in place, otherwise we're going to be inconsistent. I'm just thinking, we didn't do a special resolution on, on um, my talking with those agencies about a process for Cranford Basin, so I don't think we need that here too. That's fine. I'll just, but I, we'll but, just but I okay. will undertake to um, discuss this at the same meetings.
So are there uh, any more questions? No? Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, Hagley Park, is there any, I mean, is that central city, so we're not feeling Yeah, that? it is yeah. central city, yes. Right, um, and setbacks from, from rivers or amenity for those waterways in terms of open space, are we reducing any requirements or making it No, easier they, for they are rollover? pretty much a rollover and they are actually included in the general yes. um, uh, rules in terms of setbacks from waterways for the purposes of building or filling an excavation. Um, uh, the uh, open space water and margins uh, rules deal uh, with um, the activities and of course uh, some build form standards but generally speaking what th that zone does not anticipate any permitted buildings any buildings would be discretionary so that we can assess the appropriateness of any such development and then just um, the final question is around the AMP grounds, uh, the agricultural park. Mm -hmm. Have we reflected in here the, um, the Napunawai changes and yes. also, or, or hearings, and also the possible use of the land on the other side of the motorway? Uh, yes, so the, that whole area is rezoned to metropolitan facilities to uh, allow for the, uh, the new sports hub that is being planned on the land, yes. Okay, and th that. there are specific provisions for agribusiness as well within that zone. That's great. Thank you. We could, we could just point you to the map for that. Where is that? You're talking about Yoltwist or Napunawai? Napunawai. Napunawai, that's... Uh, let me have a look. Either 37 or 44. Like holes, well, that, isn't it? Where's it gone? Where's gone? Oh, we've gone. Okay, so oh, yeah, here we go. Mm. So, you, the land we are referring to is on maps 37, 38, 44, and 46 straddles for maps. But um, on 37, you can just see in the bottom right corner the zoning applied to that area. And now, in a while. So you mean uh, page 37, the uh, map? Yes, in the uh, right bottom corner, um, you can just see the northwest corner of, of Napunawai Park. So that includes the zoning applied to the uh, area north of the uh, motorway or northwest of the motorway. Left of the motorway, there's no special provisions in there around agribusiness, or there is? Uh, agribusiness uh, is uh, re the rules for agribusiness are contained in the appendix uh, that similarly uh, in a similar way to what the current plan is doing uh, defines areas within which they can carry out certain activities uh, and can uh, build um, uh, facilities so there's nothing new really in terms of their use of the park and we uh, have to remember that that use is restricted to uh, one week per year in terms of the show. They have some uh, lease uh, agreements to use the land south of their own buildings, which is on the map, on map no, 38, I think you will see it more clearly. Yes, that, the, the area that is um, pretty much in the, in the corner surrounded by the Southern Motorway and Curlitz Road that's the area where most of um, agribusiness activities are taking place. Some of them are permanent because they do own some land there. But in terms of temporary activities, uh, that's covered through the outline development plan and specific areas are identified for specific, excuse me, activities. All right, okay. I, um, I guess they'll make a submission, but I'm still not clear that um, the activity that they currently do, if they were to lease the land north of the motorway, mm -hmm. they would be able to do for the use? Um, yes, I looked at that. Uh, it's, uh, they, I think my, they, are pl they are planning on uh, having some grazing land there. Uh, 
<coughs> which will be totally fine within that zone. It's, it's not going to be a problem for them. Okay, are you happy? Okay, well, yeah, Alex. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. I mean, okay. I think they just have to make submissions and the hearing's going to yeah, be yeah, okay. But are you happy to move? Uh, sure. Okay, yeah. so Pauline, you second? Okay. okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Against? Okay. Carry. Okay. Sure, well done.